Some tater money, got tater money. I'm giving it to you. There's some Robin Hood Here we go. Take more pleasure, take more pleasure, go! Want to know what happens when I, Victor Kunda, take two of the biggest comedians in the UK... What are you looking at? I've been put in a cap and been told to meet you guys. Blindfold them... <sighs> ..and throw them into a strange new world they know absolutely nothing about. Today, I'm going to teach you about crypto. They'll need to keep cool. See how I did that? Because it sprang up on the screen and I was, psh, I was on it like lightning. Stay sharp. Anyone else in here like salmon? Yeah, salmon, salmon lovers. And look like they know exactly what they're doing. How do we get all of Abdullah's balls? <laughs> How do we get Abdullah's balls and redistribute them fairly across the nation? I'll watch everything they do from here and with an expert, we'll decide who we think did best. Everything ready? This is Razor Sharp. I ain't got no info. Um, I don't know what I'm walking into. Don't touch me! The thing is, I'd probably be able to guess what I'm doing, but I don't actually know where I am. Speed. Going head to head in today's Razor Sharp challenge. If I bump into someone, I'm gonna sue you. Our comedian, Gus Khan and Radio 1 Extra's Remy Bergs. Helping me judge which of Guz and Remy has what it takes to blag it in the world of crypto... Crypto can be comedy sometimes. ..is actual crypto trader and lecturer Diana Biggs. Guz and Remy have got no idea that when those blindfolds come off, they're going to be giving a lecture to a real audience using slides they've never seen on a subject they know nothing about. Guz, Remy, blindfolds off, let's do this. Welcome to the Crypto Lecture. I know exactly what's going on here. I don't want to spoil it for you, of course. <laughs> but um, let's get into it. Uh, cryptocurrency. Tomorrow's currency. Cryptocurrency is very important. They call it tomorrow's currency today. See how I did that? Just it sprang up on the screen and I was psh, I was on it like lightning. <laughs> Whoo! Oh snap! <laughs> I was told nothing. What can I tell you about crypto? But I think I would have been grateful for just the word crypto. Everybody wants in on it, but no one actually knows what it is. Yeah? Because <laughs> then I would have at least learned what it is. But today I'm gonna teach you about crypto. Does, what does anyone know about crypto so far? Does anyone know anything? She's good. <laughs> Anybody invested in cryptocurrency here? You, sir, look like you're invested in everything. <laughs> Great audience interaction. <laughs> <laughs> Truth is, the pound is some bull. <laughs> it's not really backed by anything. It's there as a fallacy. Cryptocurrency is different. Let me tell you why. Um, I'll tell you why I'm an expert. <laughs> <laughs> I am an expert because I invested in cryptocurrency very early on. Fortunately, something that you weren't aware of is that I'm an expert waffler. You challenged me to do something I've essentially been doing for 36 years. Do you know how much a Bitcoin used to cost? Any idea? No, you don't have an idea. For those of you who don't know, a Bitcoin used to be the equivalent of a penny, OK? One penny to $38,000. You have to understand, as a brown man, what an incredible bump up that is. You don't understand how proud my family are of me that I invested in just five bitcoins and I can buy a small village in Pakistan. This is incredible! Would you say making money on it makes you an expert? I think a lot of people in crypto seem to think so, but I would say it's not <laughs> necessarily credentials. <laughs> Complicated terms you ought to know before we start. Uh, coin. Coin is very important. It's not a physical coin, it's a digital coin. Did you watch The Matrix back in the day? You did, didn't it? You remember the green numbers coming down? That's what the cryptocurrency is, brother. That was my bank account. It was just filling with all them green numbers and digits. This is a crypto lecture, and I personally haven't heard much about crypto. I think there's really great audience interaction. Mm. I think we just need a little bit of content. Nod. See the nod I gave you here when I got into this place? <laughs> a node is... 
that you need a lot of computers to be running the software and to be validating the transactions. So those are all nodes. So actually, the more nodes, the better, because it leads to greater decentralization. Decentralization. <laughs> Let's have the next phrase, please. I know what's on the screen, blockchain. This is when you make money in abundance. <laughs> yeah? Because some people only make a dollar, right? But if you make two, blockchain, hey! And blockchain is... A distributed ledger. ledger. Who invented crypto and how? It was an uncle who's like, I ain't happy with this current banking system, mate. I'm going to bang you out something new. And that uncle went to his computer and he created the blockchain and he created the Bitcoin and then uncle has become a trillionaire. Nobody really knows who uncle is, but I want to say big up uncle, at least there's the uncle. <laughs> there is, Shh, don't tell anybody we have unmasked him today. This is uncle with all his titties in the pool. He looks like a man who likes salmon. Um, and anyone else in here like salmon? Yeah, salmon, salmon lovers. We're here for crypto, but she's Going talking about stream. salmon. <laughs> Round of applause for Uncle. Very good. <laughs> Top 10 celebrities that have invested in cryptocurrency. The Rock. Jay-Z. Salman Rushdie. Kanye West. Graham Norton. Everyone who gets up at 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did I forget him? Tupac. <laughs> you thought he was dead? He invested in cryptocurrency very early on. But hashtag Tupac is still alive. Biggie's not. <laughs> he didn't see the future, Tupac did. Brother, you could have asked me to do a lecture on neuroscience, quantum mechanics, the history of <laughs> and I would have still smashed it because I chat sh And now, a what? <laughs> a practical demonstration, because that's all why you came here, innit? Demonst practical demonstration. Let's get it on. What, what's, oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> First of all, haram. <laughs> With help from the audience, I'm going to represent to you about the Bitcoins. Come, 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 stand, stand in line, stand in line. Just, just here, just here. Just here, my guys. Thank you. Round of applause for the guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the key question is, how do we get all of Abdullah's balls? <laughs> How do we get Abdullah's balls and redistribute them fairly across the nation? Have you ever had to use props? I haven't, but I'm going to now. In life. <laughs> <laughs> In this thing called life. Um, I'll be honest, my legs started wobbling. I'm not going to lie to you. My legs started wobbling. If I walked any more, I would have just tripped over. <laughs> Cryptocurrency seeks to take the wealth. Sorry, mate, but you've got enough, haven't you? And share and redistribute. Claire, here, take this, baby, take this, take this, baby, take it home, take it home, put it in your bank account. One for you! One for you! <laughs> it seeks to give the money to the everyday person so that we are not trapped. Catch it! We are not trapped by the traditional system. Take the money, guys, take the money. I'm giving it to you. This is some Robin Hood. Here we go. Take more peasant, take more peasant, go! <laughs> now Sid's got money, Claire's got money, you've got money. That's cryptocurrency round of applause. That's round of applause. That's what we try and do. I hope I've been helpful. Thank you so much for listening. I finally see what lecturers uh, went through when I was at uni. And kudos to them. Kudos to them because there's people looking at you for information and you better have it. Uh, how did I feel? about delivering a lecture while it comes a second nature to me. I was a secondary school teacher and what I found educationally challenging was year 12s on a Thursday afternoon when all they were worried about was cakes and ponies. Do you know what? I now know that I can get myself out of any situation that is put in front of me uh, because that has to have been the hardest thing I think I've ever done. Diana, tell me, how do you think Remy did in the challenge? Remy, the content was clearly new to you, but you were really engaging. Because some people only make a dollar, right? But if you make two, blockchain! Hey! I think you really took it in stride. Thank you! I'll take that, I'll sleep well with that. Diana, how do you think Guz did in the challenge? Guz, a little bit too much audience participation, maybe. Oh. 
but a really great effort. It seeks to give the money to the everyday person so that we are not trapped. Catch it. We are not trapped. Traditional system. Take the money, guys. With this feedback in mind, me and Diana have decided that the winner of today's Razor Sharp Challenge is... Remy Berg! Yeah! I love that. No, I appreciate well it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, I'm going to leave the keys to the janitor closet outside. Make sure you turn off all the lights, OK? Thank yeah. You. All right. I'll throw you a chip. Yeah? All right. See you later, brother. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a terrible day.